Okay, we're rolling. Okay, so what I've done is I've already set this up in advance. We've got the Fusion turned on, and I'm gonna go in here to the GoPro app, and I've got different GoPros that I've already added in. We're gonna open up this GoPro, and it communicates and stays communicating via Bluetooth. So it's keeping low power, and then when you wanna use it, you click, and now we're, we're basically transmitting using Wi-Fi. And you can leave it this way, or you can turn it. You can also go from video to photo, to night mode, to burst, to time lapse, to whatever you need to be able to do. And it is low resolution, and it's a quick stitch. It's not extremely accurate, uh, but it does give you a great framing tool. And most importantly is the tenant that you have to keep in mind always is that if you can see the camera, the camera can see you. So this gives you a great way to be able to get out of the picture, out of the image, out of the frame, but yet you can still see what's going on. Now you said this had to be uh, at least um, six? iPhone six? Uh, this is an iPod Touch six. Yes, iPhone six, iPhone six, seven, eight, and of course nine and the new 10. Uh, also the iPads work very well, but they have to be mm -hmm. iPad, Pro, iPad mini four and up and the full-size iPad I think is also uh, it's either the four or the five I'm not sure uh, it is also available for uh, US models of Android phones uh, but it still is limited as to what you can do with the app as if you're doing this for video shooting as I do this is a fantastic way for you to be able to uh, go ahead and um, shoot and keep track of what's going on and stay out of the image.